Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen CQ Racing. Today I'm going to show you how I balance my tires, the tools needed, and explain why it's beneficial to balance your tires. So here I have a Proline buggy, Treggy tire, some Proline glue, a handheld tire balancer, some balancing putty, and a Sharpie. So in most conditions with Proline buggy tires, you don't need to balance them. The quality of the tire, wheel, and insert, and the consistency of them makes it to where they're really, really close to being perfectly balanced in most conditions. It's never a bad idea to balance your tires uh, because it's super quick and easy. So even if they're a little out and you have the time to do it, I would recommend balancing your tires. In conditions where you glue the insert to the wheel, you'll definitely need to balance the tires because when you use glue to secure the insert to the wheel, you're not able to do it uh, to where the glue is spread super consistent and that can make the tire out of balance. So if you do choose to glue the insert to the wheel, I recommend using a two-sided carpet tape, uh, kind of an industrial strength. Um, that way the insert can be secured to the wheel and you're able to put a consistent amount of tape all the way around. So as far as the balancing goes, it's really pretty simple. You can take, they make a bunch of different balancers. They have handheld balancers and also like kind of full on balance stations. But you can see here with this tire, it's a little bit out of balance. You can see that my hand and the tire itself is shaking. And that may not seem too bad, but when the tires are spinning and going super fast, especially if all four of your tires are out of balance, it can really kind of upset the vehicle. It can make parts wear out a little bit faster, bearings wear out a little bit faster. So if, again, if you have the time to do this, I recommend balancing your tires. And basically what you'll do is you'll just touch the tire to where it starts to move and you'll see it'll rock back and forth. And obviously the low side of the tire will be the heavy side. So once this stops, I'll go ahead and I'll just take a Sharpie and I'll mark the top side of the wheel. And what this is going to tell me is 180 degrees from the side that's too heavy is where I need to add some weight. So I'll take a little bit of balancing putty, which you can get from like a craft store, and push that into the wheel. And then you can see here the side that I marked is now the heavy side. So I need to remove some of the weight that I added to the wheel. So I'll just take my finger, remove a little bit, until you can turn the tire and it'll basically rest and not rock back and forth in any area. Feeling in my hand is a lot more uh, steady and not wanting to shake and vibrate as much. And you'll do the same method with buggy tires as you would a truck tire. A truck tire being bigger and the insert being bigger, um, a lot of times it's a little more critical to make sure that you balance those. Uh, buggy tires are, are usually pretty good. Um, some of the other manufacturers I don't think are as consistent as the Proline tires and, and the balance can kind of be out of whack a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing here with the buggy tire. Slow it down just a little bit. Once that stops, I'll mark the top of the wheel. And then I'll use a much smaller piece of the balancing putty here because this tire was pretty close to being balanced. Spin it again. Now it feels really, really good in my hand. It's not vibrating at all. I'll just check it. You can see that the side with the clay is a little bit heavy, so I'll remove just a little bit of that clay. And then check it in a few spots. Still a little bit heavy on that side. So 
so I'll remove a little bit more clay. Now it just barely wants to move, and when I spin it in my hand, it feels really good. So that's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as when you spin it in your hand, you don't feel that vibration and shaking, you're pretty much good to go. So when you have your tires balanced, your vehicle is going to drive a little bit smoother and more precise, just like if you're in a real car. If you're in a real car and you have one tire or multiple tires that are out of balance, you're going to feel the steering wheel kind of shake and chatter. Um, it's pretty much the same thing in RC. So you're not in the vehicle, but around the track, your car is going to have that uh, smoother feel and more precise feel when your tires are balanced. And again, it's, it's pretty simple and easy to do. So if you have the time and you have the tools to do it, I recommend doing it.